Well, I thought I'd do a little video on the dune buggy. Memorial Day. I was going to get it out and take a little ride in it. It ain't been out a year and a half, two years. So, it was pretty. First of the week, and I thought, well, I'll get it out and drive it. Well, I made it about a mile up the road. And she got to carrying on, rattling, and missing and carrying on. I broke a valve spring. I got it land. And I had just pulled out and was just idling along when it broke. It wasn't no high speed ribs or nothing like that neither. And she come apart. I think Musty One had replaced one for somebody in an old van. And I think their spring broke about the same place this one did. So I'm trying to, I don't want to tear this motor back apart because we done pulled one stud out of the block, tightening the heads up, and I hate to do it again. Because this is a 1776, and the meat down there by the, where the studs go in the block is getting pretty thin. So I'm trying to rig up a, a tool to do it while it's in the car and I'll show you what I got made so far here don't know if it's gonna work but I'm trying I'm gonna bolt this to the studs and then this slides on I had to fix me a thing, put air in the cylinders. I put that on there. Put me a power plow. I might put my hand on it if it works. Should be able to push them valve springs down. I'm not sure. But that's what I'm going to try to do. And why, I'm, if this tool works, I'm putting all new springs on. On both sides. They're double valve springs. I don't know if anybody's used these before. I'd like to hear from you if you have. I've had these. So this is a perfect candidate to use them now. So I'll continue on and see if this idea was going to work. Well, I made me. Well, I'm making it. A thing to put air in my cylinder to hold the valves up. I just took an old spark plug and gutted it so now I gotta look around the shop here and see if I got something I can put weld on top of this that I can hook an air hose to and that should work out fine and so let me get to looking around the shop here and see if I can find something to hook an air hose to with. I made it long that way I could put a socket up here and tighten it up take it in and out of the motor and see all the way through it so I got a few more pieces I gotta make and button up and then uh, we'll see if this is gonna work or am I gonna be pulling the heads off
fire hose is leaking pretty bad. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this down spring back on. These new ones are pretty tough to get back on. So I'll continue. I just shoved that piece of metal on these compartments. Ready for the secret, so let's try to put the secret on. They can be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Put a little bit of grease on. Once you get your hands up in there, you can't see nothing. Two down. Two more to go on this side. Four on the other side. I'm going to see on. Well, I thought I'd make a... Get a close-up of what I made here. Just in case anybody runs into this trouble. And don't want to pull the motor. That's to put the air in your cylinder. Just some junk I had laying around the house I throw together. And here's the spring compressor I made. That's just a piece of solid round stock. The big hose is the ones I used and they're offset because you have to turn it around or if you had a longer piece you wouldn't have to but mine, this is all I had so when I do the outside valves I have to put it on this side to do the one next to the car and when I do the one to the back of the car I swap it around like this and slide the two on there to there and you can get it the middle ones you can do you just slide it back and forwards and get the middle springs. But that's that's what it is. I just took a big nut, drilled it out smooth inside, then took a piece of just flat stock and put just a little bit of a, a bow in it here. And then I took the plasma, cut out a notch. It's not pretty, but I didn't care. And then welded it on there. And 
You take it and you slide it on there. Then you bolt it to your car through them holes. And then uh, when you get to the middle springs, you just slide it down. And it, it does, it did work good. You can buy things off of a air cool net or something like that. They're about a hundred dollars. It comes with basically what you see there, but it's it's a lot nicer, neater, you know, it's machined. But I thought I'd just get y'all close up to that. That way if any of y'all having that kind of trouble, uh, maybe this'll help. Thank y'all for watching.